Ahame Takiapi. Hello, my relatives. Takotia Tatanka Ichap Tanta Miado. In English, Robert Larson, her deuce. Chanshayape Itancha Demie, Damakota. Introduce myself with my Dakota name and my English name. I am the president at Lower Sioux. I have that great honor to serve them. And just want to say thank you to Chair Schatz, Vice Chair Murkowski, and the committee for the opportunity to present testimony in support of Senate Bill 2868 to accept the request to revoke the charter of the incorporation of the Lower Sioux Indian community in the state of Minnesota. The charter was never requested by the community and the community has never used it. It's a paternalistic document that limits the community's ability to manage its own economic affairs without Department of Interior approval. The charter is laced with restrictions from a long ago era that do not work today and it serves no function for the community. The community voted to adopt and organize under its constitution and bylaws, and it has always operated its economic activities as a government rather than a federal corporation. The community has full constitutional authority to manage the business affairs of the community and to adopt tribal law governing the organization and operation of corporate entities, and it has done so. It can further organize corporate entities under community law which would be better equipped to fulfill the goals of the community and to keep up with the changes in the marketplace and at the pace of business. Also, the community has passed its own limited liability company ordinance, which allows the community and individuals to organize as tribal companies and eliminates federal involvement in corporate affairs. Senate Bill 2868 is based on a well-worn path as many IRA organized tribes that were issued charters have abandoned them by the same legislative method, including the Minnesota Chippewa tribe, the Prairie Island Indian community, Stockbridge Muncie community of Mohican Indians, and the Mayama tribe of Oklahoma. The community believes that abandoning the federal corporate charter is an effective and important statement that its self-governing sovereign and is capable of operating economic activities of the community without the Department of Interior's assistance. I appreciate your support for the Senate Bill 2868, which revokes the community's charter. Padamia, thank you. Thank you very much. And now we'll uh, introduce our final testifier, Ms. Angie Wilson, the Executive Director of the Reno Sparks Indian Colony Tribal Health Center. And uh, please proceed with your testimony online. <laughs> 